Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on how to make this magazine to now. And if you're just viewing my channel for the first time, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bells for more hijab videos, magazine dresses, nabaya videos. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be working with two yards of gesso fabric, the pro chalk scissors. Then the first thing I did is to fold my fabric into two. And I'm folding such a way that I still have my two yards length. So after which I'm going to take the back length. I want my back length to be 45 inches. So you can reduce yours if you don't want it to be as long as mine. But for this tutorial, I'm working with 45 inches. So I'm just going to mark 45 inches at the folded part there. After which I'm going to come to the front part. And I'm going to take 25 inches. So I'm going to mark 25 inches then. Then coming to the folded edge there, I'm going to take 13 inches. I'm just marking 13 inches. I'm just going to connect it. And that line, I want it to be about 15 inches. So I'm just cross checking to see if I have that. So I'm just connecting. So I have 15 inches for that line. Then the next I'm going to do is to take from that 15 inches point to my 25 inches at the front part. So I'm just connecting those two points. After which, I'm going to make a curve from the 45 inches point to the edge there so I'll just make a curve from the 45 inches point to the edge there and that will form our back part so the next thing is just to cut it out so I'll just trace out my chalking So this is what we're going to have. So I have my fabric in fold. Then this is about 20 inches long and this is about 25 inches. The folded edge is about 25 inches. So from the folded edge, I'm just going to come in by 11 inches. And that will be for the midpoint of the circle we want to cut. So from the 11 inches, I'm just going to mark 5 inches. And I'm going to mark it all around to form a semicircle. Then from there, I'm going to take 6 inches and I'm going to start increasing by half an inch. So I'm going to take 6.5 inches, then 7 inches, and then 7.5 inches, and then 8 inches, then 8.5 inches. And then for the last part, I want the last part to be 10 inches. 9.5 then 9 inches so i'm just going to connect all those points so basically i started with 6 inches and i had it with 10 inches so i just increased about and half an inch so i'm just going to cut it out So I'm, not to we're going to have. so I'm just going to open up from the shorter parts, that is the 6 inches points. So this is what we have. So I have my jab foam, it is about 17 inches long and then 3.5 inches wide. So I'm just going to fold it into two and I'm going to cut out the jab cap shape from it. So I'm just going to make a slight curve. From one edge to the other edge. 
after which I'm going to cut it out. And after cutting it, I'm just going to take from my pieces remaining and placing it on the folded edge and I'm going to trace it out. So the next thing is just to open it up and I'm going to be placing the foam at the midpoint of it or at the middle of it and I'm going to pin it off. And while pinning, I'm making sure that I'm not having any excess fabric at the front. So no excess fabric at the front. I'm just going to pin it tight. And after pinning, I'll just take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stop stitch about half an inch, half an inch on it like that. So I made my hijab cap already. So I'm just going to chuck the midpoints. And then for my hijab piece also, I'm going to chuck the midpoints. So I'm just going to place the cap to the hijab piece right side facing each other. And I'm going to pin it all. So after that, I'm going to take my head opening divided by 2. So for me, it is 20 inches divided by 2, so that's 10 inches. Then I'm just going to close the front part from the 10 inches point. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine and close that part. So after closing it, I join the cap and then the front part also. So the next thing is just to attach the flay. To the front piece of the jab, the front part of the jab. So the longer part of the flay will actually be at the edge of the front part. So this is how it's going to be. So what I'm just going to do now is just to open up the front piece. And then for the flay, I'm going to chuck the midpoints. After which I'm going to place the midpoint on the front joint part. That is the part we joined at the front piece. I'm just going to place it together. Right side facing each other and I'm going to pin it all. So after pin this is going to have, I will just take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch on it. So after stitching, we have this. So we're almost done. So the next thing I'm just going to do is just to fold those edges twice and I'm going to hem them. Or you can just take it to your interlocking machine if you have one and just interlock it so this is all for today's tutorial and this is the finished look of our hijab i hope you find this tutorial helpful Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bismillah. Take care. Bye.